Hey guys, uh, another tutorial today. This one's going to be how to make a glitch buster that can plug into your ESC and supply extra power if there's ever a lag from the uh, BEC to your servo and stuff. Um, things you need. Probably going to need a Phillips head and a flathead depending on what you need to take apart. Wire cutters, a servo plug, and of course soldering equipment. Um, heat shrink is optional. I'm probably not going to heat shrink this one just because, or I mean at least not the whole thing. Um, <clears throat> now I've already torn this apart. Old audio equipment, old computer equipment, all of it have capacitors. Anything that you can think of will pretty much have a capacitor in it if it's got some sort of electronic uh, amplification board or well, like I said, computer boards, motherboards, all that stuff. So you can see there's several capacitors on here, but the one I'm going to be interested in is this one. It is 16 volts, which is obviously more than enough for uh, this use because most BECs only put out 5, 6, up to about 7.4 volts. Um, capacitors will only give what they're asked to give, so you don't have to worry about frying anything uh, or anything like that. It will only give what the components need. Um, something to remember on capacitors is that the stripe side is always negative on electrolytic type capacitors. The other spec to look at is the capacity. Now, you can see these, well I don't know if you can see it or not, these little ones have a capacity of 680 microfarads. This bigger one is 2200 microfarads. I always like to use the biggest capacity that I can without having too big of a cap. Um, you know, because it would look silly to have a capacitor the size of a D battery hooked up to your RX. It would work, just no real need for it. So now I'm going to just desolder this capacitor. That was easy. And now I'm going to prep the servo plug. Obviously you don't need the white wire anymore. So, we can get rid of that. Oh, for this I like using a thumbtack to pry the little plastic tab up so that that comes out. I did forget about, uh, I'm going to use heat shrink on the wires. When I said I wasn't going to heat shrink the whole thing, I meant using bigger heat shrink to go around the capacitor, like a lot of the ones that you see that you buy at a store would have that on it. Alright, so we got the white wire out. Separate these. Put the heat shrink to them. And we only want to strip the tiniest little bit off the end. I use my teeth. I know it's bad, but oh well. There. See, very little. Now, mount the cap. And I'm going to tin my wires. A little bit of flux. solder. Okay, there pretend. Now put a little bit of flux on here. And remember, like I said, the side with the stripe is negative. And that's it. 
That's it right there. That's all there is to making your own glitch buster. You can now plug this into the extra or the battery port or third channel, anything on your RX, and it will uh, help if a servo or whatever wants to draw too much power. This will supply short bursts of power in that case. Um, again, places to find these. Old computers, uh, motherboards, power supplies, old stereo equipment, um, small amplified speakers like the one I took apart for this. Uh, they're pretty much everywhere, really easy to find. Just make sure that it has a high enough voltage, and the higher the capacity, the better. That's all for today. Bye. Nismo, say hi, Nismo.